Hello YouTube and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. So today we're going to be getting your skin into Blender. Let's get into it. First off, you're going to need to download Blender right here. Just click on this link, download Blender, and it should download. You install it like any other program. Secondly, you're going to need to go to this Mediafire link down in the description below and download Raygon's Minecraft player rig. That's me. Now just find where you have the player rig, right click on it, extract all. Go ahead and hit extract, and here it is. All right, you're ready to enter Blender now. So once you're in the default little menu here, go ahead and first off, delete that cube. Second, let's go up to the top left, click File, Append, go over to wherever you have the player rig at, in my case, it's Downloads. Double click on it, and you'll see two options, Classic or Slim. Classic is your thicker skins, Slim is your slimmer skin. In my case, I have a classic skin, so I'm going to select that one. You'll be met with nine options. Double click on collection. Now go ahead and open Minecraft player and you should have a Steve. Well, you can't quite see him yet, can you? Let's go up to the top right where you see these four circles. Pick material preview out of them. Awesome, now you have Steven. Go ahead and click on Steve. Careful not to click the bones. Any other part will work, just don't click the bones and go down to this weird little menu and click your red circle or material properties. From this menu, you will click the small folder right here. This is where you select your skin, so go to wherever you have yours at. I have it in the downloads folder. Double click your skin, and that's it. You're in Blender now, congratulations. All right, you're in Blender now, so how do you get around? Get a camera, lights, all that. Go ahead and hold down the middle mouse in order to move your camera over. If you want to change positions for any reason at all, hold shift while you do this and it'll allow you to move your camera wherever you need it. Once you're comfortable, go ahead and select your bones now and go up to the top left and change to pose mode. This will allow you to select the individual bones and edit them. Upon doing so, you will start moving your body parts. So now, take your time, play with some of the bones, see what they do. You can spin the arms around a little bit. You have control over the torso, you can do this. You have options, so play around with it, get the position you'd like. Hey, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that, helps a ton, thanks. Okay, so you have a pose that you quite like. So let's go ahead and get your camera and lights into place. We're going to first get out of pose mode. Go up to the top left, click object mode. Now, click and drag over your camera. It should be somewhere up here if you didn't delete it earlier. And if you did, go up to add and click camera. That easy. And you can use these options over on the left in order to move it, rotate it, do whatever you need to do. I'm going to put my camera right here, right? Now we're going to rotate it. The little arrow gives you an indication of the direction it's facing. I'm going to put my camera at a fun, small angle, just for representation's sake. Now, in order to see what your camera can see, go up to view, viewpoint, camera. That shows you exactly what your camera can see. Now go over to this little orange box and you will see all these options. If you slide these around, it should change the position of your camera. Make sure you have the camera selected. <laughs> okay, just like that, we can move around a little bit. I can move myself a little bit closer and get rid of this Y rotation. Generally, you probably want Y at zero. On rotation, this one here. Just like that. You have a good camera angle. Let's go ahead and get you lit up. If you go back up to the top right where we clicked that circle earlier, you can select to, you can select render preview. This will allow you to see how the lights look. You may want to turn this on and off depending on how good your computer is, but it'll let you check how your lighting is looking. We're going to grab the light real quick and just move it down generally around where the camera is at. With the light selected, which you may need to click on it up at the top here. Once you have that, you can go into this light settings and you can turn it up or down depending on how it's needed. Let's see. It's a little too bright right now. So let's drag it down, actually. 
Uh, that looks like enough light. If you need another, go back up to add, hit light, create a point light. And you can go ahead and take this light, put it on the other side, drag it up, and now he's pretty well lit from both angles. Let's check our camera view, and it's looking pretty solid, if not a little too bright. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit lower so the vibrance can come through a little bit better. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, once you're ready to render, we've got two more things to talk about. One, go over to your little weird camera, Render Properties, and go down to where it says Film in this fat menu. Don't worry about most of it. Hit Film. Now, in Film, turn on Transparent. This will make it so it renders as a PNG that's completely transparent. You can see through it. It's awesome. Secondly, in the same menu, Render Engine, Eevee or Cycles. This is whether or not you want RTX. Eevee will render really fast. It's awesome if you have a slower computer. In fact, it looks great overall. But if you want that fancy experience, if you like RTX, I'd go with Cycles. Once you're done, go ahead and hit F12 on your keyboard. This will bring up a render, and since I have Cycles on, it's rendering a little bit slowly. Give it some time. <laughs> Look at me, I'm in low FPS. Uh, rendering will take a ton of your GPU, so it will slow it down a lot. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually finished. As you can see, we got a really good result. You have these really intensive, like, little tiny shadows, and that's what you'll get with RTX. You may not want it, you might want it, so d you decide. Anyway, with your final result, you're going to go up to Image, Save, and then title your image. I will title it Tutorial Render. I'll go ahead and slap that in my downloads, as that's where I put most things. But just like that, you're in Blender. Congratulations, that's you. You're in a pose. You did it. And uh, hey, if you enjoy tutorials like this, let me know. I might be making more of them. I have plans. And with that, I'll be seeing you dudes in the next one. Peace.